The stock market is crashing. Yes, indeed. We're going to zero. Silicon Valley Bank is gone burger. Or is it? We've just heard that they are going to pay out everybody's thing. But let's get to the doom and gloom of what has happened over the last few days. Okay. First of all, Silicon Valley Bank went to receivership. And yes, if you had the stock at $700 and now see it completely halted about $100, it's a big, big, about 80% loss right there if you had invested right up that high. And most people are really, really ruining it at the moment. Will it open up again or will it be completely cut off completely? Um, it's going to be interesting to see who's brought out this bank, if someone's brought out the bank or not, more, more than likely they have. And will it, um, will its name completely go in the receivership? Because what happens here is a bank can buy this at a discounted rate. And the main reason they'll buy it is so they can take all the land and put their own banks into it. Now, that's a question if anyone wants to do that. And really only the big banks like JP Morgan, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo would be the ones that would be interested in that sort of deal so it's going to be interesting to see who has done the deal if the deal has actually been done um obviously the two hundred fifty thousand dollar guarantee is out the window because we're gonna buy out everyone everyone will get their money back what's doing there they're picking and choosing when some other companies crash to the ground they just say bye-bye but well this one they saved them i don't know because of big tech big money We've got to have big money in this game and big tech is all around the Silicon Valley back end. Just to give you an example for the people out there that may not know, this is just a few of the companies that have got money in Silicon Bank. You've got Roku, yes, Roku, $487 million, which is around 20, 23% of the business. It's um, big money there. Etsy was warning depositors. The delays in the SBC bank collapse will mean that you will take more time for your money to come in or if you sold something for it to come out, which is costing a lot of businesses turnover. Um, you had Von Meteor, and they were, their credit cards declining when they were looking to do payments. You got Rocket Lab, they had seven, about 7.9% 7 of all its money in SVP. On chorus, 23% of all its cash and cash equivalents in the company. Here, in these big seconds, San Gamo had 364 million cash <sighs> blown up in smoke, or so it seemed, but maybe not. Um, but yes, but for me, what everyone's not talking about is you. Yes, you. If you are a shareholder in Silicon Valley Bank and pretty much all your money has disappeared off the earth and you're not going to be saved. You might be saved if you had money in the bank, but if you're a decent shareholder, it looks like you'll be out the window and lost it all. How devastating. Um, so, is the end near for the banks? Will we have a new bank revolution coming out of this one? Um, going to be interesting to see what actually happens here. If the stock does open up again, which most likely highly doubt it, because I don't think anyone would would keep the name. I'd be surprised if they did. I think they'd just take the retail space and just use it that way. But to me, it's only the beginning. I expect five to ten more regional banks to collapse as the real, real financial begin to unravel. And the big dogs, even the big dogs, JP Morgan, Bank of America and Wells Fargo start to decline as well, as the high interest rates just take over all the banking industry. Not being able to afford all their loans. Um, so a bank's an investment. Can you invest into these banks going forward? Um, 
to me i'm not a big fan of banks because i just don't see a big enough growth sector in there and even though you can make some money in the banks it's not really for me but if you really want to invest into the banks i'll be looking at the top dogs um jp morgan and that and looking for them hopefully the, the crash whether it's in the next week or two or if, it, if we do go into a full-on recession when the price really drops buy in there but i honestly think these other avenues like tech avenues that you could buy with way better intrinsic value going forward um the other strategy you could look at is buying like 10, 10 regional banks, say putting a thousand in each one or whatever, 10,000 in each one and hope one of them goes to the moon and that is a strategy that works as well, but you could have a strategy they all go to zero, but um, which isn't really going to be the case, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, what? How do you find the magic source um, when it comes to investing in a bank? Well, obviously, you need to find something that's in, that has great intrinsic value now with future potential, um, has a moat, um, the revenue growth and the net income is improving. Tesla has been one of the better gainers, earners for the tech companies of late. So which one of the banks has the, the best long-term play? JP Morgan and Bank of America come to play to me. But they're probably more safer options. Um, whether you want to take the risk and go for these regional banks, because there's going to be one of those... A couple of those regional banks are going to be the ones that make the real big moves. But which ones? That is the question, the million dollar question. If we all knew, it would all be rich. Um, the way I see it here, um, for me personally, buy companies that are, that are special. Like, you can be at the all-you-can-eat buffet... And the stock is ready to buy with the crash. If a crash happens, there's going to be a lot of stocks on the market. So what can you do in the next few months or years to get yourself ready to for these investments from all the bargain buy? And it could be out there in the future. Um, I'll give you an example of a stock I'd be looking at. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's Facebook. I think from a price now, it's easily going to go to three hundred, four hundred dollars. So there's a double. There's going to double, no doubt about it. I think you'd absolutely do well on a solid company if you're just looking at solid companies. That is a very good buying opportunity still. Um, so that, that so Meta Platforms is one company I think you could be looking at. Um, and especially with the potential growth in the metaverse. What now? This is where you go do your research if you want to invest in a bank. What bank is evolving into the future? Is the future in AI? A technology? Um, will we go completely cashless sometime soon? A lot of banks haven't got too many banking outlet branches. So how, how do they potentially get more customers um will we see the day everything goes cashless because one concern i have about that is that a lot of companies are now giving a surcharge on using your cards your debit cards credit cards and say so, say you got you're just spending ten dollars subway and then it costs you ten fifty or whatever the case may be and it just keeps adding up, up and up and up and it's less money for you going forward. So do you just have cash with you all the time to make sure that doesn't happen? That's not easier said than done as well. Um, anyway, going back to Silicon Valley Bank. Um, what went wrong? Um, you can probably state the obvious of what went wrong here is that 
um, the big losses of paying out all the bonds to the people with um, they, they, and then there was pressure obviously on people foreclosing on their mortgages and they weren't getting their money back out of the what they loaned out as interest rates continued to soar they lent out too much money to people that couldn't afford it and they are ripping and ruining the benefits now So they don't really have the reserves to cover all the withdrawals that have happened over the last few days. Hopefully another thing that's come out of this going forward is that the banks will virtually um, have a have an overhaul and people are not are monopolised into one bank, forced into one bank um, for this sort of um, issue because people are Still away. If you look at a basketball player, he's got about 30 different companies, um, banks, that he has 250k in, so he's under the quota of getting um, financially guaranteed if the bank goes down. So it's that smart business. What does the future hold in the short term? Well, I think for bank stocks, it's devastation. And a good time to buy into bank stocks if that's what you're into. Um, for the market overall, like I'm expecting a 60% recession. Um, but I believe it's already here. But it just the big government are not saying it. Um, what you should do right now is to cut down your expenses and get yourself ready to load the boat on the companies you love or expect they will have future potential growth. They're going to be bargains galore. There's already bargains already, but if the bargains keep going lower and lower, keep on buying in. Um, just don't worry, the ship hasn't sailed. It won't be like the Titanic, even though it might feel like the, uh, the apocalypse is coming. But it's, it's the time to really make life-changing investments to make the world a better place. But all jokes aside, I hope you are getting yourself ready to invest into one of the into into whether it's banks doesn't matter what it is you have the chance here to really invest your money into decent companies at bargain prices and if you really want to take look at the lower stocks out there um they 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 they're a bargain opportunity too the smaller companies, they're definitely bargain. They were not as much of a bargain as six months ago, but there's still bargains out there. If you think you can find the right companies, they're going to be around in 50 years' time and going to be booming. Um, stock market crash is coming, and I'm telling you now, get yourself ready for that money spinner to get some money to deploy. Um, I'd like to thank you very much for coming to, to this video, Barry Charles. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit more about the stock market crash and the Silicon Valley bank disaster. And we're going to have plenty more videos coming up on this channel. So remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next video.